Hello students. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the diagonalization of a matrix. Say for example, if we have A equal to 2, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, find the modal matrix P that diagonalizes matrix A and hence find A power 4 now to begin with, the first step is to find the eigenvalues for which we use determinant a minus lambda e equal to 0 which implies minus lambda cube plus trace of a lambda squared minus sum of the principal minors into lambda plus determinant a equal to 0. One can verify that the characteristic equation will be minus lambda cube plus 7 lambda squared minus 11 lambda plus 5 equal to 0. So the eigenvalues will be 1 1 and 5. Now to find x such that a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. Now lambda equal to 1 this implies a minus I, this is 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 1. Now, since the rows are repeated, reducing this to the echelon form will give us 1 to 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. So a minus i into x equal to 0, this implies x plus 2y plus z equal to 0, y equal to k1 and z equal to k2, this gives us x equal to minus 2k1 minus k2. So x is minus 2 k1 minus k2 k1 k2 if we separate the variables we collect the coefficients of k1 and k2 this gives us minus 2 1 0 minus 1 0 1 lambda equal to 5 implies a minus 5 i will be minus 3 2 1 1 minus 2 1 1 2 minus 3 
now for lambda equal to 5 determinant a minus 5i this is equal to 0 this implies a minus 5i is similar to say we take the last two rows now the third row has to be 0 doesn't matter what the first two rows are because the determinant a y minus 5i is 0 the in the echelon form the last row will definitely reduce to 0 so that simplifies the process of finding echelon form for us so 1 minus 2 1 0 4 minus 4 a minus 5i into x equal to 0 this implies x minus 2y plus z equal to 0 4 phi minus 4 z equal to 0 so x equal to z equal to k implies y equal to k this implies x minus 2k plus k equal to 0 so we have x equal to k so we have x equal to k k k now for lambda equal to 1 we have these two vectors So lambda equal to 1, so we have x1, x2 and x3 is 1, 1, 1. So we can write p as minus 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. Now these two vectors minus 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1 are linearly independent here. If they were independent, they would be multiples of each other. Now, when we have distinct eigenvalues, the eigenvectors will be definitely linearly independent. So, lambda equal to 1 and lambda equal to 5 has distinct eigenvectors. So, for the repeated eigenvalue lambda equal to 1, these two vectors are independent of each other. Therefore, P will be a non-singular matrix and P inverse is given by so P inverse will be the determinant of P is 1 by 4 so we have minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, 3, 1, 2, 1. So P inverse AP will be, since the first two columns correspond to lambda equal to 1, so the first two diagonal elements should be 1 and 1. The last column in P corresponds to lambda equal to 5, so we have 5 here. The remaining elements are zeros. Now to find A power 4, we have A equal to P D P inverse, which is 
so a power 4 equal to p d power 4 p inverse so a power 4 is equal to we have minus 2 minus 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 d power 4 will be 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 5 power 4 into minus 1 by 4 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 3 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 4 So this will be equal to one fifty seven three one two one fifty six one fifty six three one three one fifty six one fifty six three one two one fifty seven.